Hello fellow traders, today I want to make uh, yet another wiki recap. Uh, in this video I would like to uh, discuss a little bit what happened with our trading plan uh, which I shared with you last week and also what happened to the two live signals which I shared with you on Twitter. So let's get started with it. On the screen now you can see the actual trading plan uh, posted on TradingView. It is based on the Great British Pound Australian Dollar Currency Pair and as you can see uh, I was more inclined to sell it. Uh, what is the reason? I'll just say a few words. First of all, uh, here uh, we had a very strong daily resistance area which as you can see uh, the pair respected a few times and dropped from it uh, throughout the past weeks uh, before the plan was published. Uh, we saw uh, range movement of this pair and uh, my expectations were for uh, the upcoming week uh, for the pair to drop from uh, where it was when I posted the plan and to uh, reach this weekly target area and probably later on to reach this long reach this long term target area. Now we had this uh, green small H4 support uh, which stops the M30 tr uh, trends and lower also the H1 trends. So without further ado that was the idea. Uh, I was going to look for sell opportunities here between those two uh, lines in, inside of this area and uh, probably after a break here or if the price reach to here after a small correction to this level and then I would have uh, looked for sell opportunities. Of course I present another scenario if the pair retraces back up to the daily resistance there we should look for sell spots. Let's see what happens. As we can see from the uh, so far development of the plan uh, the pair failed to, to break this uh, level and retraced back up to the daily resistance area from where we saw a massive drop reaching almost to our weekly target. After that again it exploded up so the range is still uh, intact. Uh, we can continue looking for sell opportunities here at the top. Now uh, based on this plan I managed to share with you two live signals, uh, one from last week and one from yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna show them on Twitter first and then we're gonna check what happened with them. So this was the first one, I didn't attach a picture here, I had some issues with that. And uh, here was the second one from yesterday. So the first plan uh, did perfectly. Uh, I even shared the closing sign of 70% of the trade and 30% were left floating. Let's check them on the graph. This is the H4 graph but I'm gonna switch to the M30 where both signals were uh, taken. As you can see uh, the first sign I shared was here at this candle after the pair uh, retraced back up to the daily resistance and uh, showed that uh, it is ready to go down once more and can continue in its uh, range. Uh, I was hoping for it to reach uh, probably this green uh, small support or even the weekly target as it did but here we had some strange movements uh, which I didn't like and I saw that this area is kind of uh, a reversal area. As you can see uh, the trend from the top reversed here and here. Uh, also here we had a reversal after this correction and so on. So I have uh, published a sign to take in some of the profits here, like 70%, uh, which was around 86 pips, and the rest was left floating. If I haven't posted a closing sign when the price reached down here, but if you took uh, out the rest of the profits out of the market, that was going to be perfect. 
this would be around 241 pips, which is pretty awesome. If you haven't, uh, today the stop loss at break even was hit of the rest 30%, so uh, we, we are left with only the profit from the first 70%. Now, the second signal which I posted uh, was right on this candle, and uh, my idea behind it was that after the break of this uh, zone, as I said, which acts kind of as a support area, I expected it to act as a resistance when the price here retraced back to it. As we can see, uh, that happened and uh, we had a small consolidation here and a nice break with a huge bearish candle. Uh, just to change the color, this one. So I have decided to uh, jump into the trade here. Uh, this is both good and bad. It's good because there is a high chance for another drop to this weekly uh, target. Uh, but the issue was that we had this uh, zone, support zone here. And unfortunately during the night uh, yesterday, actually today during the night, we had a huge explosion here reaching to our stop loss which was placed above this area. Those were the two, two trades, that was the plan. Uh, I will continue monitoring it as I believe that uh, from here where we are now, we can expect a new wave down probably to this support uh, area, maybe a correction after that and a new wave down to the weekly target area. So this is a lot of pips up for grabs. Uh, check out our Twitter, I'll post again live signals there and I wish you a profitable rest of the week.